Welcome back. This is function notation. Um, in different parts of the world, we have different function notations. Um, as a beginner, we learned that we can use y is equal to, for example, x squared um, minus 2, for example. But as you go up in your studies in mathematics, then we are not using y anymore. We are using f of x is equal to x squared minus 2y because if I have another function here, y is equal to 3, 3x minus f plus 5, for example, then I have the same y. But instead, I can use g of x is equal to 3x plus 5 to distinguish sorry, to distinguish uh, these two different functions. Okay, but other use this notation. As you can see here, the function f such as x is, is equal to 2x squared minus 3x. They are using this function notation. So if you can see that, then it is similar to this notation f of x okay so you should know that y is equal to f of x why because y is what we are using in our coordinate system you other teachers or, or, or professors use this x and then they don't write y there they, they write f of x but you should understand because we have x and y coordinate. Remember that I wrote different functions and I started with linear function. Usually they don't call linear function as a function. They, they call it linear equations, but it's good to start with as calling it linear function it is it looks like this f of x is equal to uh, mx m times x plus b other countries use this f of x is equal to kx plus m or in general ax plus b okay different but what, why it is linear? Because the highest degree of your x is 1. As you can see here. The degree of your x is 1. Is 1. And then the next is the quadratic. Sorry for that. Quadratic uh, function. It is always look like this. It is ax squared plus bx plus c, where a cannot be 0, okay? Well, as you can see here, the highest exponent that you have is 2. So you have quadratic function. So if you have polynomial function, third degree and up, polynomial function, Actually, linear function and quadratic function are also polynomial functions, but uh, uh, we distinguish them by their names, special names. Here now is degree 3 and up. Okay, it is always look like this. f of x is equal to ax raised to 3 plus bx raised to 2 plus cx plus d. And a cannot be 0. Why? Because if a will become 0, then we, have, we go back to the quadratic function. In quadratic function, if a is equal to 0, then we are back to linear function. So if we have degree 3, then we need to have a at least 1 is equal to 1. 
not but not zero okay and you know already degree four we have a x raised to four and so on in general we have f of x is equal to a x raised to n where n is constant okay mm -hmm. and then we have the exponential function I have a whole series of video on exponential function or just exponentials and then it it is always look like this f of x f of x is equal to a x raised to n. Sorry, it is always like this: c multiplied by b raised to x, where b is a constant. It's the base. Okay, and then we have the logarithm, log logarithmic function. I am not going deeper to the to this because I have. I have a series of videos on, about exponentials and exponential functions and logarithmic and logarithmic functions. I think I have also quadratic equation uh, functions already. So, so please watch them if you need to deepen your knowledge about this. f of x is equal to logarithmic as logarithm of x with the base b. If its base is 10, then we have only logarithm of x base b. I meant other bases and here base 10. Okay, and then we have the rational function. Rational function I am going to discuss in this series of videos. It is always look like this. I will take other another uh, color f of x is equal to we have ax plus b divided by bx as uh, cx huh sorry cx plus b as you can see this is a linear this is also linear okay we can start with the very easy later about this Okay, uh, in my next video, I will be discussing uh, some examples how to find the value of a certain um, function given x or given y. Okay, see you there.